In this video, I'm going to be showing you my brand new bullet journal from Minimalism Art, which I am so excited to start using. My current bullet journal is a Leuchtturm, and I've been using it from September 2019 until August of 2020. I'm going to be using this new journal from September of this year until the end of the year, and I don't foresee using it into 2021, but we'll see how much uh, room that I have left in it once I get through these months. I do plan to use it a lot because in my old bullet journal I was trying to really fit an entire year into it and I felt like I wanted to use more pages than I did and that wasn't very fun so I hope to just go crazy and use as many pages and make as many unique spreads as I want in this new journal so that I can fill it up if I need to. So first I'll be showing you this minimalism art journal. It's really beautiful. I got it in the gold color and it has white pages. It comes with 234 pages, which is a little bit less than the 249 that the Lloyd's term comes with. But one thing I really like about this journal and the reason I chose it is because it has 120 GSM paper compared to the Lloyd's term's 80 GSM paper. I was getting a lot of ghosting with the Lloyd's term and when I used especially the Tombow markers, not so much with the Crayola Super Tips, but even with my pen or my marker, my black fine tip pen, it was getting a lot of ghosting and so I wanted something with thicker paper but I didn't want to splurge on something like an Archer and Olive. So I found this Minimalism Art one and it was actually around $10 compared to the Lloyd's term which is $20. So I thought it was a great value for the money and I decided to try it and it's my first time trying this brand of journal. Just like the Lloyd's term, this one comes with the two ribbons which I really like because I usually keep one at my habit tracker and one in my weekly spread so that I can find them easily. It also has a little closure ribbon, it has a pocket at the back, it has an index which I don't really use, and the pages are numbered so that's nice. So first I'll show you the spreads that I ended up migrating into it, um, sort of the annual spreads. I've actually been rethinking my bullet journal system and I think I'm going to keep a journal separately with all my annual spreads for all the statistics and trackers and collections and things like that. So I didn't migrate those over because it doesn't make sense to redo them just for a few months of the year. So I kept it really minimal and only migrated the bare essentials. So the first thing I set up was a future log because I do like being able to see the months and to plan different dates and write things down. I actually was going to start on page one, but I completely messed up and put like a three day weekend um, <laughs> in here. And so when I realized that I just quickly turned the page and decided to start fresh. And then I promptly went and did it again at the third month I put in somehow. So I'm going to have to go in and wipe that out. Because I'm starting this journal in September, I already have a future log for September in my old journal. So I was originally just going to do October, November, and December, but I messed up and just put September instead. So I just left it. And then I also left some room for January and February if I want to put those in so that even if I don't end up using this journal for those full months, I might have events upcoming or things that I want to remember, important dates that I want to jot down so that when I do start my 2021 journal, I'll then migrate those over. The next page is for 2021 notes, dates, plans, and reminders so that I can start planning out things for the next year. And this could also be used for planning out my journal. So anything coming up that doesn't actually fit on the future log I can put there or if I have a date that's later in 2021 and I don't have you know something I don't have a future log for June for example that wouldn't make sense to put here I can just write it there and then migrate it into my new journal. Next is a section for things to focus on for the rest of 2021 so we still have over a quarter of the year left and if you do goals by quarter or things to focus on by the quarter, like we still have a good chunk of the year left. So I don't want to just wing it with this journal. I want to actually plan out what I want to focus on and use to having a new journal as an opportunity to think about the things that are most important to me for the rest of 2021. So I just gave some of my main categories that I focus on and that I use my journal for tracking and I will fill that in once I have given it some thought and decided where I want to put my energy and attention. 
and then here I just have a few trackers that I'm not migrating over which I will need to refer back to throughout the months so I just put them all together on one page. The next two pages are for a master list and or brain dump. I just put each title at the beginning of the page and left it super blank and minimal because I just want these pages to be used a lot and to have a ton of space to write every single thing that I need. And I also left the next pages blank so that I can extend this because like I said, I really want to use this journal. I want to have everything in one place and I want a lot of space to do that and feel like I could really spread out and that I don't have to scrimp and save pages. Then these pages are for content ideas, either for YouTube or for Instagram or just different bullet journal spreads that I wanna do. And I think I'll really be using this a lot because I wanna use this journal. I wanna put like random spreads scattered throughout the weeks, throughout the months, and just really enjoy creating in this journal. That's my main focus um, for the journal going forward instead of feeling like I need to shrink everything down and make it really small and fit an entire year in my journal. Next is a page for highlights and memories for the remaining months of 2021. I had this page in my old journal and I decided to keep it here even though I'll probably end up migrating it into a collection in my other journal that I'm planning but it's nice to just have it here so I can easily fill it in in this journal and don't have to be running and grabbing another journal every time I wanna make a note here. The next few pages then I just left blank so I can add new spreads or if I need additional space for any of those spreads that I already have, then I have it and I don't even have to worry about running out of room. So I hope you enjoyed this video and got some ideas for your own bullet journal and maybe a new way of doing your bullet journal. This is completely new for me as far as having the primary journal with collections. Maybe you already do that, maybe not, but I hope you got some ideas for your own journal and I look forward to sharing this new journal with you and all the amazing spreads that I end up creating. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.